Hi guys, today's video is all about space piracy, which is an important aspect of most survival games. You see, enemy ships carry a lot of resources. If you're bored of mining and refining, you could always resort to piracy and grinding instead. Perhaps you'll break down the ships for parts, or put them back into active service. In the first half of the video, I'll show you an honest way to capture ships using my pirate ship and a drone as well. In the second half of the video, I'll show you a piracy cheat. There's no other word for it, it's a cheat. I use a great program called Space Engineers Toolbox to do this, there'll be a link in the description, you can also skip straight to the second half from there too. So let's capture some ships. Ok so let's start to move in on this military escort. I recommend switching auto save off, because I've been caught out by this before. My ship was destroyed and then immediately after, the game auto-saved, and so I couldn't just reload the game at the point before my ship's unfortunate end. Make a tactical save at around a thousand meters away from the enemy ship, so that if the turrets were to get you, you can just reload from there. Ok, so now I switch to my ship's camera to zoom in on the enemy. Try to hold steady at about 700 meters away or so. If you're totally new to this, switch your inertia dampeners off and match the speed of the ship you're trying to capture, gradually edging forward. So now I'm going to use my rocket launcher to take out all of the exterior turrets and guns etc. The camera view isn't the best, but you're looking for the green lines which are the turrets targeting lasers which indicate the locations of the defence systems. If you're unfamiliar with the designs of the ships, just look at some pictures online. I use Space Engineers Wiki to get a layout of the ship which helps me better understand what I'm up against. Now I only have a single rocket launcher on my ship, but that's all you need, one well placed rocket is enough to disable any enemy defences. So that's done, uh, now we can start to move in closer because there's no external defence systems left. There we go, raise my shield. Here we go, so I've now locked on to the ship and I can now turn my inertia dampeners back on to bring the enemy ship and myself to a halt. And now I can start to turn the ship around and you know tow it back to base or of course you can do your thing here and actually hack into the ship and take it over here and then you can fly it back without this pirate ship it's entirely up to you okay, so here we go we've come to a complete stop this is the ship I've captured all the turrets have been disabled there we go that's a side profile and now I'm gonna go into my drone carrier and pilot a drone and basically take out the interior turrets because if you're in survival they'll shoot you to death. There you go, so now I'm approaching in the drone, it also uses a camera. Here we go, and then basically you're just going to grind down the door and there should be an interior turret behind this. Um, it's not targeting the drone at the moment, it's probably only set to target people. There it is, and all you're going to do is shoot it out. There we go, so that's disabled now. You can see it stopped firing at me. So now I can actually move this pirate ship away and put the shield back down to go and capture a second ship. Okay, so the pirate ship's job is done here. Now all we're going to do is basically hack into the control panel on board the ship and it's yours. Oh look, a second military escort. I'm going to use a cheat to get this one. So firstly, you're going to install SE Toolbox. Don't worry, it's really easy. Then launch the program and select the save you wish to modify. This is the save I need. Here we can see all the players, ships and objects in your game. There's the military escort I want to capture. This program has many neat little features. I can turn the enemy ship's inertia dampeners on for instance. Navigate to the cubes tab towards the top right of the window and here you can see all of the blocks that make up the military escort we want to capture. Click name to rearrange the blocks alphabetically. Simply find all the turrets on the list and you can remove the ammo like so or even delete all the turrets completely. If you click the first entry and hold Ctrl and A to select every single block, you can change the owner from the enemy NPC to you. You can even change the coordinates of the ship so you don't have to fly as far to reach it. Just a word of warning though, try not to move an enemy ship too close to a base or asteroid as it may cause extreme lag or even cause your game to crash. So I encourage you to have a play with some of the settings, it's fun. Ok so I'll just verify that this method actually works. Load your game or if you're already in game, just press F5 to reload. Straight away we can see that the military escort is no longer hostile as the colour of the antenna output is blue. I can simply walk up to the door because remember I changed the ownership of all the blocks, go inside 
and jump into the flight seat. Now I can fly away. So I hope this video has helped you and I guess I'll see you guys next time.